Hello everyone. When we talk about ethical considerations in generative AI, we're looking at some pretty important issues. For instance, how do we ensure these systems make decisions transparently and don't amplify existing biases? Plus, we need to think about privacy and the broader societal impact of automating more tasks. It's all about balancing the incredible benefits of AI with the need to handle these challenges responsibly. Let's get started. By the end of this session, you will be familiarized with data bias and privacy in Gen AI, security and compliance in Gen AI, regulatory compliance in Gen AI, data quality and availability, integration with existing systems in Gen AI, lack of transparency in Gen AI, hallucination and misinformation in Gen AI, and overfitting in Gen AI. Let's discuss an important concept in AI called data bias. Data bias occurs when certain groups are overrepresented or underrepresented in the training data. This means that the data used to train an AI system does not accurately reflect the diversity of the population it's meant to serve. Consider a facial recognition system that has been trained mostly on images of light-skinned people. This system may not perform well when recognizing individuals with dark skin. The lack of diverse training data leads to inaccuracies and potential failures in the system's performance. The presence of biased data in AI can have significant negative consequences. It can result in unfair outcomes, where certain groups are systematically disadvantaged. It can also lead to discrimination, both at an individual and societal level. Moreover, biased AI systems erode trust, as people are less likely to rely on technology that treats them unfairly. Understanding and addressing data bias is crucial for developing AI systems that are fair, inclusive, and trustworthy. Another important topic in the realm of Gen AI is data privacy. Data privacy refers to the practice of protecting personal information from unauthorized access and ensuring that individuals have control over their data. It's crucial to maintain the trust and security of the user's information. To achieve this, there are several key techniques we employ. First, anonymization. This involves removing identifiable information from data sets so that individuals cannot be traced back from the data. Second, encryption. This technique protects data by converting it into complex codes. Only authorized users with the correct decryption key can access the information, making it secure from potential breaches. Third, consent. It's essential that users are informed about how their data will be used and provide their agreement. This ensures transparency and gives users control over their personal information. By implementing these techniques, we can safeguard data privacy and build a trustworthy relationship with our users. Next in line are security and compliance, other critical aspects in Gen AI. Security involves protecting AI systems and data from unauthorized access and cyber threats. It's crucial for maintaining the integrity and reliability of AI technologies. And compliance in AI refers to adhering to legal and ethical guidelines in both the development of AI technologies and the usage of data. It's crucial to ensure that AI systems are built and used in ways that comply with relevant laws and regulations, as well as ethical standards. There is another term called regulatory compliance which means adhering to the laws and regulations that govern AI development and use. This ensures that the AI technologies we create and implement are aligned with legal requirements and standards. Now, why is this important? The purpose of regulatory compliance is to ensure the ethical use of AI. This means that we are developing and using AI systems in a manner that respects and protects user rights. It helps prevent the misuse of AI technologies by establishing clear guidelines and accountability measures. By adhering to regulatory compliance, we not only safeguard user data and privacy but also build trust and credibility in our AI systems. It's a critical component in the responsible development and deployment of AI, ensuring that our innovations benefit society while minimizing potential risks and harms. Remember, regulatory compliance isn't just about following the rules, it's about fostering an environment of ethical AI use and protecting the rights and interests of all stakeholders involved. Data quality is a crucial aspect when we talk about AI systems. It refers to the accuracy, completeness, reliability, and relevance of the data that these systems use. 
So, accuracy means the data is correct and free from errors. Completeness ensures that all necessary data points are present. Reliability means the data is trustworthy and consistent. And relevance means the data is appropriate and useful for the task at hand. Why is data quality so important? Well, it's because it ensures that AI makes reliable and informed decisions. If the data is inaccurate or incomplete, it can lead to flawed conclusions and unreliable outcomes. For example, error-free datasets are essential. If there are mistakes in the data, AI might learn the wrong patterns or make incorrect predictions. Also, having up-to-date information is critical. Outdated data might not reflect current trends or changes in the environment, leading to outdated decisions. So, ensuring good data quality is fundamental to the success of AI systems. It helps in making sure that AI operates effectively, making reliable decisions based on accurate and relevant information. There is another consideration to keep in mind which is data availability which implies the accessibility of data when needed for AI training and decision making. In AI, the ability to access relevant data sources, such as databases, APIs, sensors, and user inputs, is crucial for the system to function effectively and provide accurate results. For AI training, the system needs to analyze large amounts of data to learn patterns and make predictions. This data can come from various sources, including databases where historical information is stored, APIs that provide real-time data updates, sensors that collect environmental data, and direct inputs from users. Ensuring data availability means that the AI system can access these sources seamlessly and retrieve the necessary information to train its models. Without sufficient data availability, the AI may not have enough information to learn effectively, resulting in less accurate predictions and decisions. Therefore, data availability plays a vital role in AI systems, enabling them to learn from data and make informed decisions based on that data. It ensures that the AI has the necessary inputs to perform its tasks accurately and provide valuable insights. Next, we have opaque decision-making and the black box effect under lack of transparency in Gen AI. Let's start with opaque decision-making. This term refers to the difficulty we face in understanding how AI systems arrive at their conclusions. Imagine trying to figure out how a complex machine operates without being able to see inside it. This is essentially what we mean by opaque decision-making in AI. Closely related to this is the black box effect. This describes the inability to explain AI's actions or provide insights into its inner workings. When we say an AI system is a black box, we mean that we can see the input and the output, but we cannot easily understand or interpret what happens in between. Now, let's talk about the causes of these issues. Complex algorithms, AI systems often use sophisticated models that can be difficult to interpret. These algorithms, while powerful, operate in ways that aren't always transparent to users or even to the developers themselves. Data complexity, AI systems process large and diverse datasets. The sheer volume and variety of this data can make it challenging to trace how specific decisions are made. This complexity adds another layer of opacity. Lack of explainable AI, or XAI, some AI models are designed to prioritize accuracy and performance over transparency. This means they can make very accurate predictions or decisions, but they do so in ways that are not easily explainable to humans. There is another term in AI called hallucination which occurs when the AI generates information that seems plausible but is actually false or nonsensical. Imagine asking an AI about historical events, and it fabricates an event that never happened. For instance, an AI model might invent a historical event, such as a war or a treaty, which sounds believable but is entirely fictional. This phenomenon can be quite misleading because the information appears to be accurate at first glance. Similar to hallucination, there is misinformation in AI that refers to the spread of incorrect or misleading information by the AI. This can happen when AI-generated content inaccurately reports news or facts. For example, an AI might produce a news article that incorrectly states details about a current event, leading people to believe and act on false information. This type of misinformation can have serious consequences, as it can mislead the public and influence opinions based on inaccuracies. In this slide, let's loop upon the causes of hallucination and misinformation. Training data issues. 
one major cause is training data issues. AI systems learn from the data they are trained on. If this data contains errors or biases, the AI will inevitably learn and reproduce those mistakes. Imagine if you were taught incorrect facts during your education, you'd naturally pass on those incorrect facts when asked. Similarly, AI trained on flawed data will produce flawed outputs. Model limitations. Another cause is model limitations. AI algorithms are incredibly powerful, but they are not infallible. Sometimes, these algorithms misinterpret the data they process or overgeneralize from specific examples. This means that even if the data is correct, the AI might still make mistakes in understanding or applying that data to new situations. It's like when we generalize based on a few experiences and end up with a wrong conclusion. Complex queries. Lastly, we have the issue of complex queries. When an AI is asked about topics outside its training data, it doesn't have a solid foundation to generate a correct response. Instead, it might piece together information in a way that seems plausible but is actually incorrect. This is similar to when we're asked a question we don't fully understand, we might try to answer based on what we do know, but our response can end up being inaccurate. Now, we're going to talk about a common challenge in AI modeling called overfitting. Overfitting occurs when an AI model learns too much from the training data, capturing noise and details that don't generalize to new, unseen data. Essentially, the model becomes too tailored to the specific data it was trained on and performs poorly on new data. Now, why does overfitting happen? There are a couple of main reasons. Too complex models, sometimes we use models that are too complex for the given data. These models have too many parameters and can capture even the smallest details of the training data, including the noise. This makes the model very good at predicting the training data but not so good at generalizing to new data. Too much training, another reason for overfitting is training the model for too many iterations or epochs. When we train a model for too long, it starts to learn the noise in the training data as if it were a meaningful pattern. This again leads to poor performance on new, unseen data. Understanding these causes is crucial because they help us take steps to prevent overfitting, such as simplifying the model, using regularization techniques, or stopping training at the right time. After we have seen and understood various ethical considerations in Gen AI, now let us know how combining Gen AI systems with the existing software and processes impacts it and what other types of integrations present. The goal here is not to replace what you already have, but to enhance it. By integrating Gen AI with your current systems, we can add new capabilities and improve efficiency without the need to completely overhaul your existing infrastructure. There are three main types of integration that we need to consider. API integration, this involves connecting Gen AI with other applications via APIs or application programming interfaces. APIs allow different software systems to communicate with each other, enabling Gen AI to share its capabilities with your existing application seamlessly. Data integration, data integration is about sharing data between Gen AI and your existing databases. This ensures that both systems can access and utilize the same information, which helps in making more informed decisions and improving overall functionality. Workflow integration, finally, Workflow integration focuses on automating tasks and workflows across different systems. By integrating Gen AI into your workflows, you can streamline processes, reduce manual effort, and increase productivity. By understanding and implementing these types of integration, we can leverage the power of Gen AI to enhance our current systems effectively. Next, let's discuss the benefits and challenges of integration in Gen AI. We will explore how integration can significantly improve your operations and what challenges you might face along the way. First look upon benefits of integration. Efficiency. One of the primary benefits of integration is efficiency. By streamlining operations and reducing manual tasks, organizations can save time and resources, allowing employees to focus on more strategic activities. Scalability. Another crucial advantage is scalability. Integrated systems are better equipped to adapt and grow with the increasing demands of your business, ensuring that you can scale up operations smoothly without major disruptions. Enhanced insights, finally, integration enables enhanced insights. 
By leveraging AI to analyze existing data, organizations can gain valuable insights that inform better decision-making and drive innovation. Now we'll see some of the challenges and considerations. Compatibility, a key challenge in integration is ensuring compatibility between different systems. It's essential to make sure that the various technologies you are integrating can communicate and work together effectively. Security, security is another critical consideration. During the integration process, it's vital to protect data from breaches and unauthorized access to maintain trust and compliance with regulations. Maintenance, lastly, ongoing maintenance is necessary for integrated systems. Regular updates and support are crucial to keep systems running smoothly and to address any issues that may arise over time. Let's check your understanding based on the concepts covered in the video. Here is the first question, which measure is essential for ensuring the security of Gen AI systems? You can hit the pause button and try answering it on your own. The correct answer is option B. Conducting regular audits and implementing access controls. Next question is, what does hallucination in Gen AI refer to? You can hit the pause button and try answering it on your own. The correct answer is option B. AI systems generating incorrect or misleading information. Let's recap what we've covered in this presentation on key challenges and considerations in Gen AI. We started with data bias and privacy in Gen AI, discussing how important it is to address biases in data and ensure user privacy is protected. Next, we explored security and compliance in Gen AI, highlighting the measures needed to safeguard AI systems and adhere to compliance standards. We also delved into regulatory compliance in Gen AI, emphasizing the importance of following laws and guidelines related to AI usage and data handling. Moving on, we discussed data quality and availability, where we stressed the need for high-quality, accessible data to train effective AI models. We then covered integration with existing systems in Gen AI, focusing on the challenges and strategies for seamlessly incorporating AI into current infrastructures. We examined the lack of transparency in Gen AI, recognizing the need for clear, understandable AI processes to build trust among users. Additionally, we addressed hallucination and misinformation in Gen AI, understanding how AI can sometimes generate inaccurate or misleading information and how to mitigate these issues. Finally, we talked about overfitting in Gen AI, explaining how overly complex models can perform well on training data but fail to generalize to new, unseen data. That's all for this session. Thank you.